Is it you? Could it be? Welcome back! It's been too long. And thank you yet again for interrupting my private time. So, since I last saw you, I've had a baby, put on a stone and a half in weight, and I've bought this authentic crackling candle, which I think you'll agree adds a real touch of class to these videos. Now, the reason I bring you here today is to revisit a project I've been working on, and that project is Margot! The 1972 1275 MG Midget, who I've had now for a few years, and of course you've been joining me on that journey. Now you guys of course have been following me with Margot since day one when she arrived and exploded. But today presents a new challenge and one that will help hopefully both her performance, her idling, and just general running of the car. I am of course talking about swapping from a points style system ignition to the electronic ignition. Now there are many of these kits on the market from AccuSpark to Pertronics, but I went somewhere in the middle with a company called Aldon after being recommended by various people on my Midget and Sprite Clubs forum. Now the first port of call with doing any job like this, of course, for me, is to speak to my Jedi Master, my mentor, Dave. You remember Dave? Let's say hi to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> hi Dave, wearing a rather dashing vest, I might add. With Dave's help, it should be a fairly straightforward job. The idea being, we first make sure the engine is in top dead center position by using marks that are on the crankshaft pulley. We then label up the plugs, take them off, take the distributor out, remove the old points, add in the new electronic ignition gubbins, refix the distributor back in place, put the cap on, make sure that everything is aligned, and then try to turn her over. There's a few other bits and bobs in the middle of all of this, but for now, let's watch and learn. This morning, I've been looking for the timing marks on the crankshaft pulley. <laughs> yes, I do know what I'm talking about. Uh, and on the pulley, I've noticed someone has already painted a little white line, uh, which is very, very helpful. Um, and underneath the car, behind the cross member, there are these three or four little teeth, like a comb, sitting like that. And uh, apparently they're important as well. <laughs> no idea why. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The reason those teeth are so important is because that timing mark that's on the crankshaft pulley has to be maneuvered by turning the engine to be perfectly in line with the correct placement or marker on those teeth. First stage uh, in terms <clears throat> of doing, what are we doing today, Dave? We're going to be changing the distributor over from a points and condenser system to electronic ignition. ignition. There's the packet there. And to start off with, after removing the distributor cap, we have taken off the rocker cover as well, which looks, doesn't it look nice, Dave? Yeah, more than a nosy look, really. Yeah. But it's good to make sure that you're on uh, top dead centre so that you, if you have to take the distributor out, you know where you are. There we go. So what we've done, this is uh, a little bit basic, but we've uh, taken all the plugs out. We've marked the leads up actually, take the plugs out, because yeah. it's very difficult to turn the engine round to get the timing set up before you do it. Right. Yeah. So the engine, the marks on the crankshaft pulley have been lined up to the, tooth, the teeth that are underneath. And also, you know that on number one cylinder, you've got valve clearances. There you go, he's got a bit, bit of wiggle room there. So, yeah, so the next stage is to... Take the distributor out. In there, there we go. Which is, as we know, located down here. Down the... There's a couple of little clamps, isn't there? Yeah, there's a couple of clamps. There we go, them which should pop out. There. All right, so the distributor is out after a little bit of jiggery-pokery with uh, some nuts around the collar. But Dave has discovered something. What do we think? Well, it's not a discovery. I mean, some of the manuals say one thing, but in reality, this area here, they might say that it's got a split dog on it, which means it can only go on one way. 
But this, as you can see, is basically symmetrical. Mm. So that means that whenever you take the distributor out, you need to make sure that you put it back in the same relative position, otherwise your timing will be 180 degrees out. There you go, top tip, ladies and gents. Mm. So as you can see, this is out, and we've taken a picture before we disassembled all the points and everything. We took a picture from above to show the direction in which the rotor arm was pointing to stop it from being 180 degrees out of whack. Yeah. Uh, we have the igniter kit from Aldon here, uh, and the next step is to fit a uh, plate. An adapter plate. An adapter plate, yeah. So the thing to note there is that you've got a lug here that needs to line up with this. Okay, and then you know it's right because the camp sunk screw hole here lines, lines up. up. Job done. Neat and tidy. Lovely. What we've done so far is the points are out, condensers out. Uh, we put the base plate on and we're a little bit concerned because the countersunk screw provided didn't seem to match the threads on the on the actual distributor. Base plate, yeah. Um, so on the base plate, sorry. So um, so yeah. So Dave, using these mighty guns, <laughs> has, um, has actually screwed it. Yeah, all the way through actually, and to a really good point, so it's nice and tight. So that's the adapter plate on the base plate. Uh, that's the module fitted. That's the, and that's the module fitted there. And what we have just gone through and done, you might just see underneath there, is we know from the original shot that the rotor arm was pointing this way, and we wanted to align with all this new, um, this new sort of collar that's on it, which is called the magnetic ring. <laughs> That's what this thing is. And we wanted to make sure that it was exactly in line with this. So we did a mark on here and a mark on here and made sure the rotor arm is pointing the same way. So basically everything's in the same position that we took it out of the car. And then, then the last thing is putting the grommet into the housing the right way around and then making sure that when you put the cable in, the cable doesn't touch any rotating part. So this whole thing spins, you see. Um, yeah, and that could cause a bit of a problem. Yeah, so you don't want it touching. Dave's so got a nice bit of clearance there. Once the new Aldon electronic ignition was placed in, we could then refit the distributor back into the car. We've made sure that the timing mark on the crankshaft pulley is in line with the teeth. We've made sure that the spark plugs have gone in the right order, and we've made sure the distributor is firmly engaged and that the HT lead is plugged into the coil. We also put the positive lead and the negative lead to the correct terminals on that coil. Very important, they're the right way around. And then once that is done, it is ready to start. And as you'll see in the next video, we had a go. So first run, putting the uh, putting the car back together again and, and it's running, Dave. Hey, thumbs up. Um, but you were managing to change the way the engine was idling by yeah, doing just, what? Just by moving the distributor around, speed it up the other way slows it down but we're going to uh we're going to set it up with a timing light next so you won't be able to see that bit no but you need to get the engine hot before you set the timing so dave went under the car with a timing gun whilst the engine was turning over and what he did is he pointed that gun at those teeth where the timing mark turns and it reads how the engines are spinning and then we can adjust using the distributor turning it left or right to advance or retard, to speed up or slow down the way the engine is turning to give us the smoothest idle and the easiest startup as possible. It's done. And actually it started first time. Um, and really you can't ask for more than that. Uh, we had to adjust the distributor position. So um, left or to the right, depending just to get it that sweet spot between it being able to fire up uh, and it uh, not be running and idling too much or too slow. Uh, so we've done it, it's in, but yeah, we're happy. We're super happy. With the final tweaks done, it was time to have a go at starting her up. So here we are in the interior. I've had to choke a little bit out here. So there you have it, a brief and simple guide to how you can change your MG Midget's old point system to new shiny electronic ignition. Big thanks to Dave for all of his help, for this project wouldn't be possible without him. 
And if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to fire any questions at Google. But in the meantime, be well and stay safe. Pressure release valve. Oh, I know what they mean. <laughs>